Hello students. In our previous video, we have started lesson number four of science that is animals, our friends. And we have discussed that how animals played an important role in our life. We have discussed that animals gives us food. For example, cow gives us milk, honeybee gives us honey. And there are many animals which are used to draw wagon and carts like horse, oxen and camel. And we have also discussed their usefulness in our day-to-day -day life. Like uh, we get silk and wool, wool from silk worm and sheep. We get leather from animals, pearls and uh, there are animals which are used as means of transport and we also use the cow dung to prepare the compost and which is used in the field which help the crops to grow better then we have started discussing about the wildlife so wildlife includes all those animals and plants that live and grow in their natural surroundings so we found wildlife everywhere but there are very few places left on this earth where wildlife is totally untouched by human beings so that is what we have discussed in our previous video now here are the pictures of some wild animals you can see here first is your monitor lizard then tiger giraffe elephant wild boar and lion tailed macaque so these are some wild animals you also know many wild animals can you name some wild animals that live in forest yes there are many now wild animals were present on the earth long before the arrival of human beings that means wild animals came first on this earth after that the human being arrive so they have more right to live on this earth they have as much right to live here as we do. That means we have equal right. Equal right means barabar ka haq hai. Unko bhi is earth pe rehne ka. However, we the human beings are destroying the natural surroundings of these animals by cutting down forest and by polluting rivers. We have already discussed in our previous chapter that how human beings are destroying the or cutting the forests and we know that forests are the home of the wild animals. So we are destroying their natural surroundings and also polluting the rivers. Due to this Many wild animals are not able to live in their changed surroundings and are increasingly becoming extinct. So the changed environment and surroundings are not suitable for them to live. So that's why many animals are not able to adjust themselves with the changed surroundings so they are start dying and they become extinct now what is the meaning of extinct extinct animals are those animal species which are no longer living that means there are many animals which are no longer present on this earth not even a single in number for example 
dinosaur you must have heard about the dinosaurs so at present time there is no dinosaur present on this earth similarly animals like tasmanian tiger quagga passenger pigeon golden toad and caribbean mon uh, monk seal have already become extinct that means these animals are not present on this earth right now each and every animal of the this these species are extinct now next is your endangered animals now what are endangered animals here endangered animals are those animal species that are in danger of becoming extinct that means they are present on this earth but very less in number they are in danger of becoming extinct you know that what is the meaning of extinct extinct means no longer living that means they are not present but endangered and animals are there on this earth but in very less number animals like african elephant bactrian camel bald eagle golden lion tamarin and panda are some of the animals that face the danger of becoming extinct so you can see here the picture of these animals here is the african elephant this is tamarin this is panda bactrian camel you can see here it has two humps then golden lion this is the bald eagle they all are endangered species they are at a stage where we can count them in uh, uh, we can count them otherwise their number are that means their number are very less do you know kenya masai mara one of the world's most famous wildlife sanctuaries was recently voted one of the seven wonders of the natural world however it is getting serious threat threatened by human activities so you know that we have already discussed that there is no place where humans are not interfering so here also it is a very famous wildlife sanctuary but it is seriously threatened by human activities that means humans are all are going here and killing the animals there now dangers of wildlife trade first of all what is wildlife trade in many parts of the world wildlife is in danger because of many illegal hunting and poaching activities that means in many part of the world in india also people are many people are killing the animals and illegal hunting means that is against the law and poaching activities means killing the animals there are animals which are being killed because their body parts are used by humans this is known as wildlife trade so as we have discussed that many people are killing the animals but what is the reason for killing the reason is that their body parts are used by the humans that's why people are killing those wild animals to earn money 
Let us find out which body part of various animals are being used for trading. So now we will discuss the body parts which are but, uh, sale or purchased or you can say used by the human beings. So elephants are hunted for their tusks. You all know that elephants have very long tusks. You can see here in the picture, these are the long teeth, which are called the tusks of the elephant. The tusk or ivory, as it is commonly known, uh, uh, are used for making jewelry and decoration pieces. And these tusks are very costly and that we can make jewelry and other decorative pieces from these tusks and it is very costly because we get it by killing the elephants the north and south america bears are also being killed for their gallbladders which are then smuggled to other countries and used to make medicines so here we have north and south american bears that are killed for their gallbladders and this gallbladders their gallbladders are used to make medicines so again, the body parts of the animals are very costly. So people smuggle them. Smuggle means they sell them illegally to others just to earn money. Similarly, rhinoceros, you all have heard and seen the rhinoceros they have a horn on their head so rhinoceros are being slaughtered for their horns these are grounded into powder form to make medicines again their horn are also used to prepare the medicines next is here musk deer musk deer is becoming extinct because it is being hunted to obtain kasturi an ingredient of many perfumes musk deer you must have heard about this deer they have a thing that is kasturi inside their body and it has a very nice fragrance and this ingredient is used to make many perfumes a variety of mountain goats is hunted because its hair yield is very expensive variety of wool called pashmina and you know that we take the hairs of the sheep and many goats but this is a special type of goat mountain goat that is hunted for the its hair yield because its hair is used to prepare the pashmina and it is very expensive all the things that we have discussed till now all are very costly they are sold and make different things by their body parts tiger and endangers throughout their range you know that tiger is our national animal and they are also endangered 
throughout the range means wherever they are found and are killed for making use of their bones. The skin of tiger are used to decorate walls by hunters. Tiger claws and teeth are worn as jewelry by many superstitious persons who think that these can bring them good luck. So you must have heard about these superstitious things that the claws and the teeth of the tiger brings the good luck or use for other superstitious activities. The legs of frog are eaten as they are considered to be delicacy. So we can't imagine that the legs of the frogs are also eaten. About 200 millions and 1 billion frog, sorry, 2 million to 1 billion frog legs are consumed each year. So many frogs are killed just to eat their legs uh, each year. This might lead to the extinction of many species of frog. Such a decrease in the population of frogs will affect many organisms and also increase the insect population. You all know that frog eats the insect and if we kill these frogs then the population of those insects keep on increasing and that is not good. A caviar, another very costly delicacy is made from an earth fertilized unfertilized eggs of a variety of fish. However, this has led to a steady decline in the number of this variety of fish. Now, the caviar, it is also a very costly dish and it is made from the earth unfertilized eggs of variety of fish and again the some species of the fishes are decreasing day by day so if this type of illegal trade continues many species may disappear from us or from earth or you can say they become extinct so this type of illegal trade should not be continue. We have to save or we must save these animals from being killed. Thank you.